Good day to my lovely doctor. My name is Nur Fazil Nabeti Mamad Fazil and my match number is 253189. So I am from group 3 and today I will explain about the question number 5 which is about the evaluation and lesson from, from the COVID-19. Since my group choose bank sector for this project, so I will proceed with what we discussed regarding the bank sector. First of all, bank sector play an important role in helping their stakeholders to survive during COVID-19 outbreak. The stakeholder could be the customer, the employees, the society, government, environment, and all the stakeholders. This COVID-19 outbreak, outbreak should be an opportunity for the bank sector to do corporate social responsibility to those who affected. I will evaluate and compare at the same time between the local bank sector and also the overseas bank sector. There is six stakeholders. The first one is customer. In local bank sector, bank introduced six-month moratorium. The credit card outstanding payment could be changed for three years with a low interest rate and the borrowers, borrowers will not be listed as a blacklist. For the overseas, they lowered the bank interest rates on the loans and providing moratorium. Second, stakeholder is employees. In local, they give a job security, reduce working hour and give work from home. In overseas, they not to lay staff off during the pandemic they give a mental health support and free psychological counseling service, work from home, and free masks. For the society, the local bank give a passive donation such as food, money, and pay bills, and they provide the necessary equipment such as face masks, hand sanitizer, and also they provide a campaign. For the overseas, they funding a public campaign and 10 billion of euros of additional working capital loans to a small medium sized business and also self employed citizen. Third stakeholder is government. The local government give moratorium for six months. The bank sector also contributes on paying the tax to increase the country revenue and donate some of medical equipment to the frontliners. For the overseas bank sector, they discourage the use of physical money such as coin and notes and are not paying the dividend in the financial year 2020 to preserve capital to support the economy. Fourth stakeholder is environment. The, for the local environment, they apply the natural concept in the environment and recycle the rubbish that can be reused in the future and they advise and remind the society to obey the rules and SOP. For overseas, they do programs to help eliminate the many face masks and changing the nature of consumer consumption to online banking service. And for the last stakeholder, for the local, um, it's about either stakeholder. They contributed to help students by providing the grocery and prepare the food. They supported the effort from university students to make their own DIY facial equipment to the hospital. And they donated some of the funds to the university to carry the cost of transportation. And for the overseas bank sector, uh, the other stakeholder did promoting mobile banking and paid low return to their shareholder due to the reduced profits. Based on the evaluation and comparison, the firm stakeholder theory is closely connected to the practical implementation of CSR. Due to the pandemic, the bank sector has took this opportunity to dig the CSR to help the community and enhance their image. With the pandemic, the bank sector has successfully addressed all the stakeholder interests. In this sense, society change have had a profound impact on CSR in so far as the bank have supported more junior and junior policies which help address the stakeholders issue and the world's most urgent challenge. Next, I will go through the positive and negative reports on the Malaysian business sector, business ethic or CSR activities during the COVID-19. For the positive report, I come up with two. The first one is about how well the bank sector has contributed to the government. Actually, members of the Association of Bank in Malaysia, ABM, jointly contributed funds amounting to up to 10 million to assist the country in tackling the trade COVID-19 transmission. With the help of the bank sector, the governments can channel the right funds and distribute them equally to any organization and the public who needs expenses to support themselves during the pandemic. Second positive report is about how well bank sector support the frontliners. Maybank channeled the COVID-19 Mercy Malaysia pandemic fund for 4 million to finance the planning and strategy action plan in immediate cash. Donate, the donation will help ensure the storage of protective equipment 
for those at the forefront such as medical staff, nurses, staff, healthcare workers and volunteers. They will be provided face masks, PPE set, face shield for the frontliners. With these compact necessary things, can actually help to reduce the risk of infection while performing their duties and work. For the negative report, I also come up with two reports. First is about environmental pollution. Face masks that are being contributed from bank and other business entities is a CSR that is very helpful to a community. Based on the statement from the Ministry of Health, face masks is actually one of the ways to prevent COVID-19 infection. Unfortunately, a handful of irresponsible individuals will just throw away a given face mask every way. The garbage in the Malaysia currently is current is mostly full with the face mask and the face mask that extend the environment will just block the drainage channel which will cause more environmental pollution. Next, the negative report is about COVID-19 transmission issues that occur while performing CSR. The individual involved is actually positive and without realizing it he is, he is spreading or transmitting it to others. This issue is very troubling to the community where they wanted to receive the help but they are afraid that those helpers will bring the COVID-19 to them. This situation could be a negative stigma that impacts those who make a CSR regardless of whether this is a bank sector or other sectors. As the first crisis response to the COVID-19 pandemic starts slowly to be better, Financial institutions are beginning to look at lessons learned about how their activities have been adapted and CSR have been done to achieve their target. It is difficult to take into account the imminent and continuing danger of COVID-19 pandemic. However, banks must continue to play an important role in shaping the recovery and helping in customer. First lesson learned is meeting the consumer needs. By giving the stakeholder a hand in terms of food, or the most important is finance, will help them in survive the pandemic. By what bank sector donate and help them, it is one of the way the objective of the needs met. In helping customer from uh, in helping customer and companies recover from the effect of COVID nineteen on the economy means to help them concentrate on profitability economy activity. Second lesson is adapting a new norm. They are concerned about how the citizenship are depreciated and whether organizational cultures, workplace learnings, surveillance and governance, performance, control and ways uh, in which people communicate more generally with each other will erode over time. But no matter what the means, the bank sector needs to apply and adapt the new norm in their working area. It's definitely a daunting challenge but banking leaders have to take this opportunity to rethink the success of their people beyond this time of uncertainty. In general, the banking sector has reacted to the disruption exceptionally well, retaining business stability and ensuring the robustness of global financial system. They have to be well improved in order to continually do, do the DCSR. So the first suggestion for the bank sector is they have to accelerate digital transformation. In anticipation of the COVID-19 pandemic, the deployment of digital data was relatively, relatively cautious as banks increasingly use data and analyze to identify the detailed financial issues upon the community. Now, the, the CMCA who have met banks almost completely fill the customer experience online. The suggestion can also, ins can also solve any issues regarding the payments or donation that will be channeled online and this way are corresponding to uh, the second and third ways that are plaguing us now. And the last suggestion is bank sector should rethinking the balance between the resilience, agility, and efficiency. Bank that considers switching to a type to of managed service to strengthen their function in financial issues should ensure that they have a right ingredients that uh, can balance between the resilience, agility, and efficiency. So during the pandemic, what become really clear is that the global economy is complex and interconnected world today. A working model with the ability to adapt quickly to change, to get people moving around and adjusting tactic and drawing on technique need disruption during uh, a new norm today. So I guess that's all from me. Thank you.